the future. Therefore, it is essential to understand the concept rather than memory, the procedure of mathematics. Mathematics is a subject that requires constant practice and revision. If this is not done, students tend to forget, forget the concept. Some students find it interesting while others find it difficult. This is because of the problem applied by the teacher regarding how to teach maths as it is such a different subject. The teacher has to apply a whole different set of methods while teaching mathematics. So, games are a fun and engaging way to reinforce concept out in the classroom. Often, students are having so much fun that they don't even know they are learning. Mathematics is a subject that is quite different from others, both in terms of difficulty, in terms of usage. As we have seen before, many schools still follow the traditional method of teaching maths, which makes a child hate maths. Hence, here are a few suggestion ways that a teacher can use to teach math. Interesting. How can a teacher make a math interesting? So many ways to teach joyful mathematics. First one, create an effective environment that is open for discussion. Teachers should start by laying down the agenda of the class and must keep an open platform where each and every student must be encouraged to raise questions. Teachers should understand that students will take time in understanding the concepts of mathematics. Therefore, provide them with due feedback, practice assignments, doubt clearing, session and division papers. Explain to them purpose behind learning a particular topic. Second one, introduce the topic using multiple examples. Mathematics is a subject which could actually be utilized and compared to practical life. Therefore, teachers can come up with creative ways like images or videos to teach math in an interesting way to students. They can illustrate the problem sets by making a child visualize the practical side of what is mentioned in the problem. Third one, encourage students for easily less solving problems. In order to determine that every student can actually learn the object of a class, it is necessary that every student communicate both orally and in writing with the proper reason. Reasoning gives the proper idea about the understanding of the student about the concept. This will promote their engagement and learning. Fourth one, finish the class by giving a summary and homework. It makes childhood interest in math. As it states upon before, mathematics is a subject where you require constant practice. Therefore, we encourage every teacher to provide the student with some practice assignment for their home. Make sure that these assignments are not very tough and help the student to understand the concept, concept in a better way. These assignments are given in order to boost the morals of the students and make them better in the control of the subject. Number five, raise the difficulty level slowly. Before starting to teach any particular topic in mathematics, it is very important to understand the problem is based on that level of difficulty. Start with a few easier problems. We can start with a few easier problems. Teacher must keep raising the bar for the students slowly and standing. Observe six number, observe modify and reality. Many teachers become very busy in the piece of completing a particular topic. They often forget to admit the homework given by them. Well, we say this is not a problem, but the teacher must walk to the classroom and observe the dynamics of the students. The teacher must talk to every student individually and ask them questions. This will give them a fair idea about how much a student is understanding. Seven number, encourage mass talk and games. This will help the students to develop their mental ability and skills. This will also give them a whole learning and thinking process. They will be able to do 
describe, solve the problem in their own certain way. Games will also encourage active engagement and participation. There are many mass games available. It will promote their students for mathematical thinking, fluency, and understanding of operations and formulas. So we all know how difficult maths could be. We all have been there. Therefore, it becomes very important to be patient with the child and to teach them in a step by step. In, in simple manner, they will prevent them from getting afraid of getting afraid of mathematics. So every teacher's desire is that the, that their students succeeded in mathematics by teaching a child. The concept of mathematics is difficult. This is the reason why most of the teachers are confused regarding how to teach maths in interesting way to their students. Here, so there are so many ways to make interest in maths. Play maths games first. Start playing with games with your students. Get out some number centric board exams such as monopoly or double shuttle or get activity boxes or use some common kitchen elements to play with numbers play games that are math and numbers oriented in an excellent way to make math fun and get children interested in doing the math be aware of your own attitude towards math have you ever said things such as i am not good at math or i just don't like math if you consider changing the your attitude or at least not voicing such negative ideas about math out loud. Your student is watching and learning from you and if you express negative feelings about math rather than talk about the fun and important aspects of math, then you are doing your students a disadvantage. Now, practice with you, students. When it comes to math skills such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, nothing gives practice. And learning multiplication fact is a matter of being practicing multiplication tables on the way to a school. While students is having a bath right before school time at night, whenever you can squeeze it in. Printable math box you can practice doing math problems, making things fun and challenging by using a timer or giving your students a tip for things in the problems and making faster doing them. Now Stop comparing. This is a practically important message to the teachers. Is parents also fail to compare their kids to other kids regarding math skill or where they get in the class. So stop comparing. Teachers fail to compare their kids to other students regarding math skill or the grade they get in the class. Stop doing this. No one is a idiot. Hence, try to understand the skill that of your students and help them, help them accordingly rather than taking them down and their skill to achieve high. Help the student to shake off mistakes. One of the best things teachers can do as students develop math skills and learn other academic and live and life lessons is to assume that mistakes are something that will happen and they are learning opportunity. If you can help your student put math mistakes into and remind him that they are what we ultimately help him learn. Students will be less likely to develop an anxiety about math. Now, as we have seen before, games are the most effective way to teach math to children. That is the reason coconut boxes comes up with an idea of an activity boxes. These coconut boxes for mathematics. This is for Gartner mathematics, so we are using these coconut boxes for mathematics. As we have seen before, games are the most effective way to teach kids math to children. That is the reason coconut boxes comes up with an idea of activity boxes, which will boost our students not only math skills but also life skills. We can bring off new energy to our students using coconut boxes. They have different set of activity boxes to celebrate math. For instance, coconut boxes for parents, for students, for teachers. It is very useful. By using coconut boxes, students can practice math every day in a fun way.
They can improve their love for men. They can eliminate their mental anxiety. They can develop imagination, develop focus, reduce screen time. So, so we can say all children deserve to experience the joy of mathematics. Joyful mathematics aims to create and share resources for parents and teachers that provide a joyful mathematics that, and they can be provide a joyful experience of mathematics. So, according to Charlie Go, he is the founder of joyful mathematics and has been an educator for over 15 years as a teacher, administrator, administrator and coach. He holds a beer in mathematics and a master's in education from the University of Edinburgh. He believes mathematics has something for everyone to enjoy and mathematics can gain something from everyone who engages with its beauty. Fred Rico specialized in developing authentic experiences of mathematics through a project-based and problem-based lessons and units. He is driven by a passion. So, humanized mathematics education by broadening math mathematics definition of what is mathematical and by virtue of the power of surprise and wonder to inspire the next generation of problem solvers. He has taught every grade level for people in a wide variety of contexts, including public, private, international, charter school. He, 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 is a, he, was a, he is a father of mathematics, joyful mathematics. Throughout his career, he has been an innovative leader in his school community, helping to create new programs, developing culture, responsible curriculum, and building positive relationship through joyful mathematics. Most recently, he worked at his school park CA for seven years, teaching K-8 and serving as a director of mathematics. So, joyful and meaningful learning in mathematics classroom, we can, we can discuss about the relation between interesting and teaching joyful mathematics. The genesis of investigation about internet for learning came from everyone found that internet had been a significant medium to teach joyful mathematics, namely improve equality than a lecture. This primarily because in a situation where we lack learning resources, the internet enabled us to find many valuable resources and even allowed to us communicate with several experts in other countries sharing teaching and learning experiences, asking for online references. It has been meaningful and joyful learning experiences for us. This has motivated us to encourage others to take advantage from the process or from the resources of the internet. The internet, the internet for communication, the internet for collaboration, all these can be linked to joyful mathematics education and have the potential advantage and limitations of the internet enhancing joyful mathematics teaching and learning. The internet for information. A wide range of information can be found through the internet such as information from book online, online books, atlas, newspapers, magazines, dictionaries, radio or television program and so on. The internet supported by multimedia and good networks can have multiple functions. For instance, serving as a radio, as a television, as a video, as well as a virtual digital speaker. The internet has opened broad opportunity for more communities to access information regional, national, and international. The internet has become to increase value to more and more people due to its user friendliness. Unfortunately, so the internet is used to, is used to understand the activities of joyful mathematics. The aim of the fact to provide outdoor games, indoor games and challenges from around the world which can easily be played almost, almost anywhere. Most of them have their origin in traditional games. So joyful mathematics are used to to make a students serve as a best part of the school. Mathematical reason is part of every culture. Valuing the mathematical aspects of all people
with ease is profit for acceptance and recognize the worldwide human scale cannot through the gates. It is something to celebrate. If your class has a partnership with a school in another country, it could be interesting to share these games, mathematical games, and see what other ones you can learn from each other. So mathematical games are great fun. They can be played just for the sake of it, which means the children of many different ages and abilities can play together. The games can be undertaken as a whole school evening. If you really want to be the trick, if students really want to be, the trick is to look for patterns or moves which can help. This usually involves playing the games lots of time and experiment with different tactics. This is how to change, this is how to challenge students who have who have competitive streak. Some of the games, some of the mathematical games are less important, but it was a very interesting. It is also very interesting so that enjoyment of learning math through a shared experience can happen. Many of the mathematical games have been or can be adjusted to make them relate on people working together to su succeed. This works best if a class already familiar with the game. Not on children cope with the written instruction. Think about how we introduce a game that engages the non-readers from the outset, for example. You, we could organize our groups or pairs so that there is one team reader. If we want to your, our class to figure out the game through reading the instruction. With this approach, it is important to give it time to stop checks, shares, ideas and children demonstrate their understanding. So keep advanced warning that a game will be played outside and ask the group to see if they can find an online video of the game's instructions. If we have internet access outside, this is particularly helpful. This should be possible for most of the game as the traditional adaptations of a well known other games were playing outside. For some quick games, we can invite an interesting group to learn the game and then to teach other students. This can work well with younger classes by teaching each other Students are having to record and remember all the ins and outs of a game and to improve their communication. Ask an older class or parents or teachers to come and spend a session teaching and playing a game. Provide the game as a homework challenge to learn. Then when we, when we come together to play outside, when students come together to play outside, students can share ideas, tactics of older persons. So, if you have a students who cannot cope and using them a useful strategy is to offer that they play by themselves using board counter. Sometimes they may wish to have two play against each other. So why outside writing mathematics? Why they understand this type of uh, mathematics outside process of mathematics, steps of mathematics? Most of the games are traditional and many have been around for centuries in one form to another. They have their roots in the Greeks being attached, scratched on the ground. You are continuing the cluster. You have to move around more. It's physically more demanding approach as you get up and down from the ground. Being able to move around the game and see it from different angles and this can uh, help you with the strategy. Because the games are played on a large scale, what may be a traditional game for two people can easily be adapted to become a game for a group where the teams need to work together and reach a final. It's chance to get fresh air and engage two students in a practical mass experiences in a context which is unfamiliar to many students. For students who struggle with maths inside have a more positive experience outside. Since the outbreak, the emerging evidence is being outside is safer. Transmission rates appear to be significantly lower outside. Thus, taking every opportunity to work and play outside is a practical approach to higher, safer way of learning. So, general notes. So, general important points about joyful mathematics are. So, uh, outdoor games are very important to understand the mathematics. 
Play the game a few times in advance of trying it with your class or group of children. Each game has quick and be able to speak for experience. Is helpful especially when discussing how everyone got on with the game. Also, it will help you work out if game is likely to suit your group and practical of creating the board on the ground. Children, students need time to learn each game. Each game. Older students or adult students, senior students, we can say, this can be a great approach for using buddies from upper primary to support children moving into P1 and another classes. As quickly as possible. Get children playing hockey. The discussion about tactics and ways of playing should come later. Once children know a couple of games, then you always have a finishing of activity for a group of finishing other outdoor work early. In the winter, it is better to go for mazes and games that involve in moving around. We, we can study from outside also. The counters can be found objects. Your class may prefer to develop collections, especially if there is not much in your concrete jungle, put together bags of cones, shells, food, cookies, so that it's all ready to go. A small and simple enterprise is to hold a school outdoor mass games, competition where children pay a small entry fee to play. This can be fundraiser for a charity or for outdoor equipment. Another activity that works well is having a puzzle afternoon where children can make puzzles and then have, then have fun playing them. The handout can give children idea that not having more complicated board games, etc. for younger children or senior children. Simple games such as skitter and just as much as a study game and play and plenty of plenty of number of skills can be learned through playing the game. If a game become very popular then consider getting the board outline painted on your playground. Many companies will offer this board service provided they are given a design and its diameter. Don't do this until you know a game is much better and where is the best situated outside. The Joe Walter Trust offers small scales as closing games is ready. If a game becomes very popular, then consider getting the board outline painted on your playground. Many companies will offer service provided they are given design. So, increasing the challenge and mathematical learning, and encouraging children to make the board game, it can be a useful problem solver in that they will need to consider an appropriate site and accurate layout. It has developed their spiritual awareness and understanding of geometry. If you have number types, outdoor seats, or other movable squares, rectangles, then it is usually the quickest way to create an accurate layout. out. Your class may want to some ready cut out cards and stones to place one top of the card on a unit so they can quickly draw an accurate layout for a large group. Green using silicon numbers squares can be very helpful. Chalk can be, can be used instead of a stone to scratch a pavement or sticks or line drawn in sand, sand grid mud, and other soft surfaces for slightly longer lasting yet temporary games. Use classroom paint. Sticks can also be used for games where the objects are not placed in the school lines. Second, Increasing the challenge and mathematical learning, working mathematical learning. Second, second point, setting specific investigations. With older classes, teacher can set specific investigation. Example, is it an advantage to be in first in this game? And how can you do this? What happens if three people play game instead of game? Third one, changing the rules. This is particularly helpful. If your game is not going well, a group or child is not really engaging with a game, ask children for their idea about making it better. What rules could be adapted or changed? How can we make the game more excite exciting? This type of creativity throughout helps children see how a small changes can make a significant difference. It is a useful skill to acquire for algebra reasoning. 
making a change and seeing the outcome of this change. Look for patterns and to use these to predict outcomes. Learn how to come, how to record such a phrases in mathematical way and encourage children to use equations to explain what happens. The use of math journal general can help document this, share ideas collectively to improve understanding. It's much more fun if everyone is working together for the greater good. Going life side. It can be fun if the games are created on a larger scale and children become the actual pieces in the game. You so many games, you so you so many games to understand this. This work best of children have the prior experience of the game using traditional board style approaches. Approaches. It is greater for outdoor work in that there is space and children are moving about. However, it does mean that that may change to the challenging being more about working as a team rather than the mathematics of the game. The advantage is that for children who are less secure, secure in their mathematical, the position of movement instruction from others will really help. Introducing algebra. algebra. When using Greeks, show your class how to describe the position of different pieces on the board using a standard notation. It takes more traditionally uses the lower case alphabet along the axis and numbers along axis, y axis. It takes more traditionally uses the lower case alphabet along the x axis and the number along the y axis. Each face piece is assigned an uppercase letter. This can be useful for describe tactical moves for some of the other games and this children to demonstrate successfully game and recording them can be helpful. For example, the game of mean works will be very interesting are written as a series of math sentences. This enable a visual representation of the patterns to be seen. Now, using artificial intelligence. Some of these games can be played on a computer. This is where the children, this is where the children pit themselves against the computer and becomes artificial, natural intelligence. This can be good for you, up motivated children after an outdoor session. The reason for playing larger scale games outside are the health and social benefits of being physically active, access to fresh air, time away from a screen and thus a greater movement, and exercise for the eyes as well as moving around. So, the other important thing is process, not the process. The, uh, this is the best known game of all. Aim of a game in Baker to make a line of three tables vertically, horizontally, diagonally. Material, material used in this game chalk, stones, cones, and extra. Knots and crosses, perhaps the best known game of all. Aim of the game to make a line of three tables vertically, horizontally, diagonally. Materials used in this game to learn the math, chalk, stones, cones, and instruction draw three students should draw three degree on the ground with a chalk. Each player, each student takes turn to put a stone on the green. The first student to make a line tables in their color view. Use a stick instead of chalk to make a green. Put a white sheet underneath to see the objects more clearly. You can just use chalk but this means you will use a, a lot of chalk with a large glass. Sometimes the game results in chalk. Have a think about a ways of reading. Does it matter that the complex place by the other player? Are there many patterns that can be created to ensure one player win? What happens if you use a four to four game? How could you create three D equivalent game? So we can study about horizontal line and vertical line from this game. The game of fifty. This is counting the other game. The name of the game of the game of fifty. In this game, this is a counting game for two students based upon a north and cross game. 
aims of the game to be first player to or to be first student to make a straight line of three numbers total 15. This vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. Materials needed instead of chalk. Strains need a set of needles from one to two nine. These could be between bean bags, number papers, wooden cookies, Lincoln, anything else you have had this year of multiple. Instruction: Players take turns to place a numeral onto the tree. The first needle may not be placed in the central square. The first person to make a line that total 15 beans. The sticks can be bonded into groups of five for numbers five or Players take turns to place a numeral onto the tree. The first needle may not be placed in the center square. The first person to make a line that total 15 beans. Sticks can be bundled into groups of five for numbers five or larger. The sticks can be used to represent the numbers. It is useful to children who are learning to count. On six equal to one bundle, five stick plus one loose stick, it can also help children understand how numbers can be part partial. More than two people can play this game. It can be a good challenge for the younger classes to see if they can create a magic number being before playing the game, each line of number vertically, horizontal, diagonal, must total 15. Is there more than one way of doing this? Now, other game is nine books. This is also to learn math interesting, make math interesting. This is a useful game for young children to learn before nine men. It is a good lens straight from the learning knots and crosses. Aim to be to make a three in a row, but diagonal rows are not allowed. Material needed. Chalk for making the grid as four in the photo. Three objects for each player, spoons for one player and cones for the other. Takes turn to place an object on the grid at any points where two lines meet and intersect. Take care not to make your opportunity get three in a row. The play is made. The play then continues by players talking to learn to move an object into an empty point, empty point until one person manages to get three in a row. Now another game. Chapter. This is a single game and not cell process. In that it's all about making three in a row. It's room. It's from the Philippines. It's for two students. Aim of the game to make three in a row. Material needed for this game. Chalk sticks for making the green. Three objects for each player, stones for one player and cones for other. Players take turns to put an object onto the green, taking care not to raise the opportunity to get in a row. Once or six objects have been placed, the player take turns to move an object. To an, up, uh, to an adjacent empty spot, no jumping allowed. Something sometimes a settlement is reached where moves are limited, but the game can't move on this record. So, another game, slide 50. This game is an important game, an interesting game also. In maths, of the pocket money, game where the user 1 to 15 have to move around 4 to 5 green into the correct order. Then there, but there is a catch. Now, aim of the game to move the difference into the correct situation. Another game is slide 50. This game is an important game or interesting game of the pocket money, game where the user 1 to 15 have to be moved around the 4, 4, 3 into the correct order, but there is a catch. Aim of the game, to move the numeral into the correct sequence, sequence in a 4, 4, it can be played by two or more players. It is interesting, not a competitive game. Materials needed the numerals 1 to 15, this could be big, big bags, number tables, food and cookies, and if you have to to hand, that is, when play. Instructions. The numbers are shown. They are placed randomly on the floor to the four D. This should be one space that does not have a number. The players take a turn to move the numbers one at a time. 
the numbers may only be moved in the blank space from an adjacent space. Vertically or horizontally. No diagonal moves allowed when the numbers are in the correct order. You have correct moves. One. The game can be played with less numbers on smaller games. Is there a system or pattern to make the numbers move into order? Adults and children are playing together can be good way of helping children sort numbers into their correct order. Now another game is the game of me. An ancient came up to place. It may be originated in China. This game is of two players and it is originated in China. Aim of the game to ensure your opponent opponent is left with the last table to pick up. Materials needed 20 pebbles. Instructions put the 20 pebbles on the ground. Taking turns, each player chooses to pick up one, two, or three counters. The player who picks up the last counter loses the game. There is a trick you can use to ensure that you do not lose. See if you can discover it. What happens if three people? Take turns to play instead of two. How can one apply the secret step? What happens if you change the number of letters used? Record the pattern of the game using maths and tables so that steps moves can be investigated. Example: E1 player, E2 player, E1 20 minus 3 equal to 7, E2 17 minus 3 equal to 15. Now another game is fives. If this game played on 5 into 5 game, I am not sure of its origin, but it is harder than first appearance. Aim of this game create a line of 5 objects from the grid before you open the Before you open it, material needed 5 points for one player. The other game is 5 into 5. The name of this game is Five. This is also an interesting game for us. This game is played over five into five games. I am not sure of its origin, but it is harder than first appearance. Aim of the game to create a line five objects in the grid before you open it. Your opening line. Materials needed five points for one player, five stones for another player. Take it in turn to put your objects into the squares on the grid. Continue the play by moving one object to an adjacent square turn. You can move in any direction. The winner is the first person to make a line of five objects, horizontal, vertical, diagonal. This game could be simplified by playing on a four into four game with four objects to each player. The three in a row game in a knot is possible. What happens if the grid is changed from a square to rectangular array? Example, five into four. Now, other interesting game of math is the student can, uh, can study mathematics from side GeoGebra. The boundaries of the GeoGebra website. GeoGebra allows students to do algebra. It is very important and very interesting side for students. GeoGebra allows students to do algebra, geometry, vector geometry, static, differential and calculus. GeoGebra includes a simple calculator. It allows students to solve equations and integers. So, GeoGebra can solve equations written in symbolic form. GeoGebra allows students to derive integers. GeoGebra can replace a graphic calculator for drawing the curves of functions. It also, so on the other hand, GeoGebra also allows you to move to curve by sliding it around with the mouse. You can observe the effect on the equation of the function. You can also obtain coordinate precise points such as point intersection of two curves. So we can also address the different parameters of a function by creating curves and changing their values. So, GeoGebra includes a spreadsheet that is very effective for mathematics. GeoGebra helps students to visualize mathematical concepts that can see abstract effects. It's a tool that allows you 
to visualize and then create the function vectors, etc. There are a number of exercises to help the student to learn concepts step by step in this side. Teacher can also create their own exercise tailor to meet their own needs. The teacher can easily share these exercises with the students, whether it is sending up by lines by email in the in the, in the model and way to them online with a single click, aside for sharing GeoGebra resources. When comparing it with the map software package using GeoGebra is very interesting. The students are able to use it without having to spend a class learning the tool beforehand. The single link calculator in GeoGebra is less developed than map but it still like, meets most of the needs of the teacher or the students. The teacher can use GeoGebra to demonstrate in classroom also. The student can use to do exercise in class or at home. They can record the GeoGebra files and send them to their teacher to formative and summative education. Summative evolution. So as required. In different calculus, inter calculus, GeoGebra allows to draw function with appropriate axes and to zoom in on certain elements. This allows to see the limitations of the functions. Now, students can draw tangents by seeing the slopes. These elements allow the students to manipulate. So, GeoGebra allows the students to manipulate the function more easily. The restrictive element of the learning which makes mathematics more complex for the students. The symbolic calculator of the GeoGebra allows the students to easily calculate degrees and integrals. Within calculus, students can practice the integers and area of calculation by analyzing some of the rectangles on the left and the right of the integral integers. So, so GeoGebra allows a student to do addition and subtraction of a vector as well as the multiply by scale. GeoGebra allows a student to create with the derivative of vector vector and also do the plus in x, y plan. With tools to measure names and entries, the student can verify the quasi validity of their answer. We can also translate coding to polar coordinate in other words to complex coordinate and explore line equations by various models. In quantity method, in study, GeoGebra is used to be teaching learning different words, normal, distribution, chi-square, binary law, distribution, confidence interval for progression, and others. It can be used to illustrate regression and linear progression. Students can be used to software to illustrate a link between two series of quantity data in a scatter point in a style map. GeoGebra allows to calculate the the range of complex range and efficiency in the city manner. Additionally, the different learning equations are easy to do. Thus, technical meaning in GeoGebra allows us, allows the students to do different graphs for a data set, stability plot, box plot, frequency, crystal gram, and polygon. GeoGebra allows the student to different statistical law in detail. We can cover linear regression or the y regression of regression of the data. The software allows for a great deal of mentality of the data that the students are working with. While providing a visual setting that facilitates both teachers or the students learning. The GeoGebra Geo -Geo software can easily be installed for free for any computer. The GeoGebra app is available for free on tablet. The app has all the same feature as the GeoGebra software for desktop. There is also a version of smartphones. As the initial time of writing the link, 2050, only the Azure and Graph also were available. Since this time, little functional has been added. For this reason, it is better download GeoGebra to a computer or laptop if possible. If you use a device that is connected to the internet, you can also the online version of the GeoGebra which can be used without having to download the software. This version includes, includes all the same features as the desktop software and tablet, and tablet but has left different interface. The software app and online version application are available in English and French. If you would like to use that,
the Geo Jetra app is available for free tablets. The app has all the same features as the Geo Jetra software for desktop. There is also a button for smartphones. At the initial time of writing in a way to having quite quickly, only the other than the graph was a clear of it. Save this time, little functionality has been added. If you would like to use Geo Jetra to do any graph manipulation, you will need a tablet or a computer that is connected to a projector. Since GeoZebra has an online version, no downloading, no downloading or installation are, um, are necessary. If the device you are using is connected to the internet when you are demonstrating, in order for students to use GeoZebra on their own classes, each student or a group of students need to have access to a computer or tablet. A smartphone can also be a trick if you need to use an online version of that thing. If the phone happens to use Android, you could also use a beta version, version of the application on Android. After class, in June, Android is completely free. All the students can use at home, at the school. So, for joyful mathematics. So, for joyful mathematics, teachers should start by laying down the agenda of the class and must keep an open platform where each and every student must be encouraged to raise questions. Teachers should understand that the students will take time in understanding the concepts of mathematics. Therefore, provide them with good feedback, practice assignment, doubt clearing system, and review problems. Explain to them the course behind learning particular topic. Teachers should introduce the topic using multiple examples and games also. Mathematics is a subject by food and which could actually be visualized and compared to practical life. Therefore, teachers can come up with creative ways like images, video, geodata, and to teach math in interesting way to students. They can use, so teachers can illustrate the problem sets by making a child visualize the practical side what is in the problem. In order to determine that every student can actually learn the object of a class, it is necessary that every student communicate both orally and in writing. The proper reasoning. Reasoning gives a proper idea about the understanding of the student about the concept. This will promote their, this will promote their engagement in life. As it is placed upon before mathematics is a subject where we may require constant practice. Therefore, we encourage every teacher to provide students with some practice assignment for their goal. Make sure that these assignments are very tough and help the students to understand the concept in a better way. These assignments are given in order to boost the moral of the students to make them get a relevant core of the subject. Before starting to teach any particular topic in the mathematics, it is very important to the to, 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 say that to solve the problem, to set stage from that level of difficulty. Start with a few easier problems. Reasoning gives a proper idea about the understanding of the student about the concept. Students in reasonable and ask their questions. The teacher must talk to every student individually and ask them questions. This will give them a fair idea about how much a student is understanding. This will also give them a whole new learning and thinking process. They will be able to describe and solve their problem. Solve a problem in their own schedule. We all know how difficult math can be. We all have been there. Therefore, it becomes very important to the patients with the child and to teach them in a step by step, in sequence now. This will prevent them from getting afraid of mathematics. So games, outdoor games, indoor games, it is very important to teach math. Starting when start playing math games with the students, yet with the students they talk some numbers and take board games such as monopoly or other chapter, or get activity boxes or do some common kitchen items to play with numbers, playing games that are math and number oriented in excellent way to make math fun and get children interested. When it comes to math skills and such as additional subjects in multiplication and division, nothing beats practice and learning multiplication practice are natural to you. Practice multiplication tables on the way to school while your child is having a bath, right before, right before school time at night. Whenever you can squeeze your game, Interval math, worksheet and practice doing math, problem making things fun and challenging by using a timer of giving a student a treat for facing the problems and getting fun.
as per my plan. So one of the best things we can say, we can do at the Antioch students develop math skills and learn other activities and do it. So joyful mathematics is one of the most important subjects. Mathematics as a subject in a secondary level can be the foundation stage of higher education. It has been observed that the student's attitude towards learning mathematics varies dramatically. To some mathematics is pointless, boring, and boring. Subject wise, for some students, mathematics is fascinating to the source of level and degree. The attitude towards mathematics determines the learning outcome of students. The students are often not clear in their understanding of basic concepts and they don't see the equity and the value of mathematics. So they try to avoid. Application of mathematics in every walk of life and end of making things more difficult for them. To make mathematics everybody, a cup of tea, a positive attitude towards the subject is needed. It is used, it is used self-confidence, enjoyment, motivation. A student used games, student use games, we also get to they use games and it is also encouraged active engagement and participate. There are many less games available. It will promote their in it will promote their skill, mathematical thinking, fluency, understanding of operation. So we all know how difficult maths could be. So students start playing with games with, with, uh, with friends and give out some numbers and to board games such as monopoly or double shutter or get activity boxes or use some common games in items. It stu your students also watching and learning from TV, late, and if you know, they express negative feelings about math rather than talk about the fun and important aspects of math, then students are doing better, better, better. When it comes to math skills such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, a bar, right before, printable math worksheet, and practice doing math problem, making things fun, challenging by Challenging by using a timer or giving your three academic students to keep the finishing of the problems and getting faster with them. So, one of the best thing we can do as we help our students to develop math skills and learn other academic and English life lessons to assure them that mistakes are something that will happen and they, they were learning opportunity, opportunities. If a student can help put math mistakes into Remind and think, and they are what will ultimately help in learn. Students will be less likely to have and anxiety about math. So, coconut boxes are very important. So, I hope some of these approaches and games of teaching math will be effective to do the dynamics of a classroom and also to children's personality to math. Teachers must not worry about how to teach math, rather, they must focus on how to teach math in an interesting way. Making things fun makes everything easier. In the entire process, it becomes very essential to understand the mindset of the child. This will help elders to develop and connect better relationship with the child. Keeping these tips in mind, the next time we plan an anxiety of students or sit with the students. So games, net, geogender, geogender site. And so many games, uh, coconut games, five games, these games help us today to make the math interesting. Paul Lockhart puts in how to teach students mathematics by choosing and engaging and natural problems suitable to their taste, personalities, and level of experience. In short, by having an honest interest in relationship with our students, our subject. So every students, every student desire is that their every uh, teacher's desire is that their child succeeded in mathematics. But teaching a child that concept of mathematics is difficult. This is the reason why most of parents, are, most of teachers are confused. So mathematics is the door and key. It is one of the most important subjects. Mathematics as the subject. In the secondary level, curricular ways of understanding the stage of higher education. It has been observed that the student attitude towards learning mathematics varies them. To some mathematics is pointless, more than the level of life, or some subscript mathematics is fascinating or a source of level and into life. The attitude towards mathematics determines the learning outcomes to the school. Students are often not clear in their understanding. 
or basic concept and they don't see everybody in them. It may come and it is everybody. A cup of tea, a positive attitude towards the suffering can be able to enhance overall achievements and confidence into another motivation. Is today, is today, like the man.